it's a, it's a good feeling. Of course, I've um, loved UND for a lot of years and, and love being a part of this program. And, and honestly, it's just an opportunity to continue being part of a super, super special uh, university program and, and something that's meant a lot to me for a lot of years. Um, and so really just trying to give everything that I have for the girls I get to coach and just the program's sake. I'm pretty high energy, I think. Um, I definitely have high expectations, high standards. Um, but I don't think that I'm like a crazy get on top, you yell kind of person. I, I like to think that I'm encouraging at times. Um, but I definitely, I, I, I shoot you straight. I'm going to tell you what I see, what I think. Um, and, and have some pretty honest conversations that sometimes maybe you don't want to hear. Um, but I, I do really try and like build a relationship, make sure our girls, our players know, like I care about more than just the basketball player that they are. I care about who they are as individuals and how they're doing in the classroom and how they're just doing in life. But um, I think all that is part of, so that when we get to the court, you know, I'm going to get after you. It's not just because I don't like you maybe, but it's because I'm, I'm going to help you get to where I think you're capable of getting to. Um, he's a handful, I will say that, um, but I'll be honest, we have a lot of people around here that are just incredibly helpful. Um, my husband obviously gets, gets stuck doing a lot. Um, and so I'm thankful that he's, you know, willing to kind of put up with the profession. You hear all the time about like coaches' wives. Well, he's he's the coach's, you know, husband that's that's doing all that kind of stuff. And he's he's got a big job at home. I can tell you that. But we have a lot of people helping us out. I'll be honest. Uh, Mo's family is incredibly helpful to us. My son absolutely loves his daughter and son, and just getting to hang out with them and play with them. And uh, we have a lot of babysitters that help us. Um, we make it work. Um, I do think it starts a lot with recruiting in all honesty. Um, and, and in that last year, or my first year kind of in that interim role, not really being able to um, go out and physically recruit made things a little bit difficult. Um, so now it's really like that first year now trying to figure out, okay, what's that rhythm? Because there does need to be a lot of time invested into that. Um, but really working hard in terms of like player development stuff too, because at the end of the day, like we, we're gonna scheme teams, we're gonna you know try and do different things to each team, but we really gotta have like the players that are ready to do some of those things. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we have some great coaches in this league and just trying to catch up and, and I guess get on some of their level maybe. <laughs>